Hi, yeah, this is Nusha. I am Ahir Danish Baju, and now I am co founder of Teleport DAO. Teleport DAO is an interoperability protocol that connects different blockchains together. Today, we have many different blockchains with different speed, different level of privacy, and different level of security and decentralization. And these blockchains need to get connected together so users can move data, NFT assets from one blockchain to another. And this um, solution, Teleport, uses a technology uh, that is fully trustless. It uses like client bridges. Um, and that's very important, especially in case of um, large blockchains like Bitcoin and Ethereum, because the users of these blockchains are really concerned about the security and they don't want to um, sacrifice the security um, to just use some crushing applications. So that's very important that when you connect these blockchains together, um, you have the same security as the blockchains themselves. That's what Teleport provides. The most important thing is to talk with different people to, uh, to be updated about your industry, about the blockchain industry, and also to find new ideas. Uh, for starting your, your own startup, you need to find a good problem, and to find this problem, you need to talk with different people uh, who have expertise in this field. And so, talking with uh, UBC professors and uh, UBC students uh, help us a lot to uh, find the best idea to work on. Actually, I've been so lucky because I had many brilliant people around me um, from my bachelor's and from my graduate studies here. I met so many great people that uh, that itself was so inspiring to see how um, they work hard on uh, what they believe um, and um, what they believe it's important and um, how they're determined to achieve what they want. It makes you, it also motivates you to do the same with your life. I think one of the best experiences was the industry night that we had the chance to talk to um, leaders from the industry directly. Um, many great companies, um, many great uh, blockchain companies are in Vancouver and it was a great opportunity to um, talk to their leaders, to um, uh, get to know them and that was when um, we chose uh, which company we want to work with and that was a great experience as well because that was an opportunity that we could uh, connect our research to the uh, real world uh, problems and try to solve them directly. Uh, so one great thing about UBC was that uh, it forced um, the internships to be research based. And that was really helpful, helpful to um, get the best out of this experience. Yeah, so starting a startup uh, is like to face a risky challenge and yeah, actually a startup has lots of challenges. You need to build a team, you need, a pro you need to build a product from scratch, you need to uh, manage a team, choose the uh, right problem and try to solve that problem. And so it has many challenges, but on the other side, I think uh, if you build a successful startup, it has a huge upside. You will get credit, you will uh, maybe earn lots of money in a short period. So uh, I wanted to uh, face these challenges. I wanted to uh, build a product from scratch. And also I can say I got inspired by a few books that I uh, read about startups especially the zero to one and uh, hard thing about hard things. Uh, those books talk about the startup space and how is it like to be in the startup space. So yeah, I, I wanted to uh, face uh, the challenges that exist in a startup and uh, I, want, I wanted to grow my skills in that area. Fundraising, so um, it's uh, much better to close your round um, very quickly, like instead of um, having a long period for it. What we did was that, um, so for a, for a short time, we had like, I don't know, more than 10 meetings a day, uh, talking to investors, um, pitching our ideas, and we tried to um, 
close that in a short period of time, and I think that was uh, that really helped us to um, raise a good round for our um, seed round. Yeah, you can tell them to take their ideas seriously. Many times, maybe you come up with an idea, uh, but you think with yourself that this idea is very simple and is very obvious, so uh, maybe someone uh, out of there should uh, already have started to work on that. But uh, it's not true about the blockchain industry because this industry is, is very young, and so there are not many talents in this, in this industry. So there is lots of room for you to work on your ideas, and if you, I think if you see that you have some idea that is simple but uh, it's, uh, it solves a good problem, you should definitely start working on that. And yeah, I think you should take your ideas in the blockchain industry seriously. <laughs>